What's the difference between ATIS, ASOS, AWOS, A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Let's talk about that thing. There go! Oh, when you're checking the weather, there are a variety of different weather reporting systems that you may run across throughout your aviation journey. And oftentimes, you're not really concerned with what the weather reporting system is. You just want to understand what the weather is because that's going to help you aviate, navigate, and communicate. However, really understanding what weather reporting system the weather is coming from that you're listening to can be a great tool to have in your toolbox because it can help you plan better, help you navigate, and also help you anticipate what you can potentially expect. So we're gonna talk about those three different systems that are often used and that you often utilize. ATIS, AWOS, ASOS, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's get into that thing. Let go. Boom. When it comes to your weather reporting system, there are a lot of similarities and very few differences. But those differences are, some of them are subtle and some of them are really drastic. The three more popular systems that you may be familiar with and that you may have seen the acronyms for are ATIS, ASOS and AWOS. Those are the ones that you're going to see the most. But what is the distinct difference between those? When you talk about the weather reporting in general and the weather that you're going to receive, the, the information that you get is technically the same in a lot of these. You're going to get the time. You're going to get the wind direction and speed, the temperature, the viz, dew point, altimeter setting, and usually some sort of cloud reporting. That's standard information that you're going to get in a variety of these different systems, but there are certain subtleties that make them more distinct. Let's start with ATIS, one of the more popular kind of systems out there. And the biggest difference and the one thing that you want to understand about this is the human element that's involved with the ATIS. That's what makes it distinctly different. There's a human generated human element to it, to certain categories and of reporting in it. Not necessarily the whole thing in its entirety. The standard weather that we just went over, the time, the wind direction, speed, temperature, all that stuff, that standard reporting, a lot of that actually comes from another system often associated with ATIS, usually the ASOS that's providing a lot of that information. But the human element and the human involvement that goes into it is all the details that you get, particularly a lot of the things that are in the comments, even whether it pertains to the runway assignments, whether it pertains to tire frequencies, notams, a variety of other information that anything that tire may think that you is good to know and that you wanna know, that human element can put it in there. So just think about anything that's particularly automated, like if you call a customer service line and you get in this automated kind of message, it may be giving you valuable information They can make your life easier, it's nice and quick, you don't actually have to speak to someone. But sometimes when you speak to someone on top of listening to the automated message, it gives you a little bit more detail about what you need. And that is kind of like the benefit of an ATIS. That's why it's kind of like held as that gold standard because not only does it have that automated kind of element, but it also, of course, has that human element in it that's going to give you more detailed information, more up-to-date information than something that someone consciously is thinking about. Hmm, it's important for airmen to know this, so I'm going to put this inside of the ATIS. That is one of the grand benefits of listening to the ATIS. A hey, boom! So if that covers the ATIS. What's up with the ASOS? As we discussed, a lot of that standard information that's coming from the ATIS is being fed by the ASOS. A lot of that wind direction, wind speed, temperature, viz, dew point, a lot of the standard information that you're getting outside of the human element, a lot of airports that have that ATIS service was feeding that. They also have the ASOS that's feeding that. So it's a lot more accurate where it's giving you that newer kind of information more so than the AWOS kind of giving it. And it's also being used by the National Weather Service. So it's not just providing weather to, of course, Airmen is just providing the weather in general to the National Weather Service. So a very nice, accurate, newer kind of read on the ASOS. But if you ever run across an airport that's not utilizing the ATIS, only the ASOS, understand that you're getting that automated version of the weather, the standard weather. And it will be noted for you, of course, also too, when you read it and you see that auto on the end of that ASOS. A, so the AWOS is probably the most basic of all of these. And it's usually found at the non-tower airports. And the unique thing about the AWOS is the airport is gonna choose what type of system and package they want. So just think about it. If you were to purchase a car or even a plane for that matter, and it has certain features on one plane that's not available on the other, the airport is determining what type of AWOS wall system that they use based on the features that are going to come with the system. A lot of the systems here in the U.S., of course, use a WAS 3, but you got to understand that some of the limitations that it may be associated with that reporting system, which makes it probably the more basic out of the three that are associated here. A. A. Another distinct characteristic between the ASOS and the AWOS is the ASOS 
is installed by the FAA. The AWOS can be installed by the FAA, but it can also be installed by business and municipalities as well. So that's kind of one of the distinct kind of characteristics in between it. Used by the National Weather Service, exclusively installed by the FAA, can be installed by the FAA, but also can be installed by businesses and municipalities. One of the distinct things you wanna make sure you understand by those. But again, the most important thing is that you're getting the weather that you need and you understand how to use that weather to navigate. But understanding these systems as you go around can help you better plan. So if you tune into an AWOS, you're not expecting the detail. That's probably why you don't get that detail that you want, that you would get out of an ATIS. And you don't have that human element. And if you think it to yourself, I'm listening to the AWOS and all this information here is very, very basic. It's good information to know and I'm great, grateful for having it and, and I can navigate on it and everything is great. Aviate, navigate, communicate. But at the same time, it's not the detail that you may be accustomed to when you're listening to the ATIS. This is why. And this is about the difference between the systems that are being used all over the world. Boom! This also highlights the importance of the ASOS because the ASOS even feeds into the automated version and standard reporting of the ATIS itself. So without the sauce, you're lost. A and these are some of the distinct characteristics between the ATIS, the AWOS, and the A dripping in sauce. A love you one time. Don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this is Leadership Mindset. Big Wall, a place where you can come for free and fun videos about everything that you need to know for you to become a pilot. Because I want you to feel what pilots all over the world feel when we swinging and banging that thing. Hey, love you one time. Subscribe to this channel.